Hey guys, first off, my condolences to Jeremy. It must have been very scary. And of course, his wife and his other family members and friends being assaulted in public in this particular, in a public convention is quite, quite crazy. Um, being repeatedly punched is insane. And the reason and who this person is, we don't know the reason yet, but the person, his name is Matt. He owns a game store. He went to Gen Con and he just began punching unsleeved media. Really unacceptable behavior, but that shows you how divided the magic community is. We have a Magic the Gathering WPN store owner seeking out another individual they've never met in person. I don't know how we can speak of community if we've never met you. Um, honestly, it's nice that I have subscribers, but if I haven't seen you in person, obviously I'm going to treat someone I see every day at my FNM as my community. I'm going to lend them my decks. I'm going to be more helpful, I'm more encouraging than a random person on the internet. So the quarterling unsleeved media just got assaulted at Gen Con by a WPN Magic the Gathering store owner. Now his store has had many bad reviews now. Uh, Jeremy has been able to identify him in his store. He's still, to my knowledge, at Gen Con. The really sick part of this is just how, I mean, he's never met Jeremy before. He doesn't have any relationship with Jeremy. He's never tweeted him before. He just began punching him. Uh, and he assaulted innocent bystanders because they had a different opinion. The owner of the store, Matt, is a violent white male who assaulted a fellow Gen Con attendee. You're not safe if you shop at this place. His actions are very problematic and only reinforce the toxic culture that the gaming community has been trying to clear out of its groups. This is dangerous. Uh, I know we have talked about sexual predators who are Magic the Island judges in the past, and that's really, really bad. I don't want to take anything away from that. But to be assaulted in public by a random stranger who has never tweeted you, has no, there's no reason for him to assault you in public, is crazy. Um, you can watch his video. He punches the glass when he couldn't punch Jeremy anymore. This is a store owner. Would you feel safe playing Magic at this store? Magic the Gathering says, yep, you're safe. Uh, this is a WPN store. Uh, the owner, I don't know if this is true, but it's said the owner has a major in women's studies. I can surmise from that and then also the punch blank he is anti-Jeremy because of his political beliefs. We live in a country that is extremely dangerous today. And you have to be careful. You have to protect yourself. You never know, especially if you are, you put yourself out there. You do expect to get some cuts and bruises, but not to be punched multiple times. So that is crazy. Um, that is crazy. Uh, something that should be a fun event for his, he pay, he paid to be here. This is not like Torlarian Community College. This is not like Wedge where they pay to fly them out. He's paying to be at this convention because he enjoys gaming. He has big plans. Jeremy had big plans of buying games and, you know, doing reviews of antiquated or as he called it, dead games. This was a fun event for Jeremy, and it came out to be a nightmare. Um, it's insane to me uh, what this community has become. Uh, he's clearly very frightened. I mean, like, who wouldn't be frightened if a random stranger just started punching you out of nowhere? Uh, but luckily, we live in a civilized community where laws are, and I'm sure this guy will go to prison. Um, I'm sure charges will be filed. 
just unacceptable behavior for anyone in this community, and this is how toxic it has gotten. As much as I... So, it should remind you that not everyone is looking for the best interests of Magic the Gathering. Not everyone is looking to do good. Um, there are many individuals in our community who are looking for handouts. There's many individuals in our community who's looking to fight. And this is a sad, sad state of events. Uh, no matter what you think of Unsleeved Media, uh, you, no matter what you think of his political beliefs, if you, if you um, disagree with him, if you are angry about the Christine Sprankles, angry about Tolarian, angry about Weds, it does not give you the right to assault someone at all, and especially in public. He, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. This climate was created by Wizards of the Coast. It is entirely their fault this is happening. Um, they made Jeremy the villain. Jeremy, who has spent tens of thousands of dollars, he spent $10,000 plus just on Magic Online, and that's virtual cards. He has opened products after product after product. He is... Someone who most game stores would be happy to have a, as a consistent consistent customer. I was watching this other guy. His name is Unsleeved MTG. He does booster pack openings. And a few months ago, he did a booster pack opening with the, what's it, the game day, the challenger packs, which is supposed to be given out to people who compete in the challenger series or the challenger events. And then also the buy box. So he had, somehow it's accumulated and I think recently a video of his went up with uh, M19 he somehow accumulated 20 50 60 of these packs that should be given out to members of the community and people were very vile um, people in his comment section went off on him so he went off on them saying that this is real life the problem starts with Wizards of the Coast but it extends to their leaders like Tolarian and like Wedge. They have a system where you've never met Wedge, but you sure as hell is gonna punch unsleeved media for Wedge. You're gonna punch me for Wedge. Like you've never met this guy. You don't know who this guy is. You don't know if he's a scammer. You don't know if he's actually has IB you don't know anything about him. All you know about him is he makes uh deck tech videos and top five videos. And he gets lots of donations. You don't know anything about Tolarian. Um, I was thinking about making a full-length video on Tolarian and why I you know, disagree. I can never agree with him because he was a assistant community college professor, essentially like a teaching assistant. Um, he was a part-time professor at a community college. I taught 14 uh, classes at NYU as an undergrad starting my sophomore spring, sophomore year. I taught in the summertime. I couldn't give up on my kids, not that easily. And many of my friends are teachers. And when they talk about their kids, they talk about them in a totally different way. They, they say they're their kids, right? They talk about in a totally different way than Tolarian did. Tolarian made it seem like all oh, these kids are um, hooligans and they're destruct. I would never, even if they are, I did orientation and that was summer and people are just, it's NYU, which you know, it's, oh, cool, free uh, free day vacation, and it's the orientation leaders to make sure that they don't get in too much trouble. Even the kids that I that caused me so many headaches and I have to um, work on an individual level just to get them to pass the class, and I've had this. I have emails from a lot of my kids. I taught 14 classes, uh, 14, a combination of clinics, recitations, and labs. And I had pictures of them in Halloween costumes. I had pictures of them at the end of the year for Christmas. Like, I loved the kids. I loved teaching. I couldn't imagine some of the things Tolarian said. And I, that's not a professor to me. So you have this virtue signaling, as someone has mentioned. I think that's actually the terminology for it, where 
Wedge says, I love pit bulls. Everyone hates pit bulls, but I love them. But he doesn't own a pit bull. He doesn't volunteer at a shelter. There's no connection between that statement and him actually in action that he did. So you have a community which is taking social media as if it's real life. You know, like Wedge is your actual friend that you've never met, you've never talked to, you've never Skyped, you never made a phone call, or if you never sent a text. All you do is donate that monthly money. So this community was built by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, this very aggressive and destructive community where they would punch one of their own for political differences. Um, a lot of this comes down to, um, I'm sure Alex Pacini would love to punch me, right? Um, I'm sure that Wedge, if he could, would like to punch me too. And Tolarian, I mean, I don't think the punch would be very strong, but I'm sure that he would like to punch me as well, uh, given some of the videos I've made. And that's where we are. That is where we are. No one can take criticism. Um, and random strangers believe that they are so-and-so's best friend and they have to defend your honor. The best example of this is when Weds asks Darium, whose Pokemon channel is now bigger than Tolarian Community College's channel, I believe. His channel is blew up and great on Darium. And when he left, I told him, I told him, hey, you're making the right choice. You should leave uh, the Magic Community. Not because I didn't I, I didn't want him to leave. He is the only person who's ever made a sponsored video for my channel. Or a video promoting my channel. Point blank. I don't know if the video is still up, but Megan was giving up like Proforos, like most like 10 of them or something crazy. If you subscribe to MTG Line, which was a much smaller channel, it's still a small channel. I didn't want him to leave, but it was absolutely the correct decision. And now um, we have this. We have this. Oh, back to the story. Weds, when he wants Darium to not do business with MTG headquarters uh, on Sleeve Media because they're friends. But a friend wants someone's business to do as best as they can. A friend would not ask you, hey, I don't like that vendor, and I know that you can make money from that vendor. Don't use them. Wedge goes a step more. He says, Brian... Tolarian Community College, so that's when they mention Brian, that's who they're mentioning, will not sponsor Darium either, because Wedge says so. This is your friend trying to ruin your business. I don't know many of, I would not have many friends who do that. In fact, I would call them something else. Anyway. Be careful out there, guys, especially if you make content, especially if people get angry at the content you make. Uh, don't stop making content. Don't. Um, that's the only way that these people can win. But also understand that, yeah, not everyone's going to love you. And some people will, um, they feel like they're best friends with someone online that they never even talked to or know. And now they have to beat you up in person to defend their honor. I would not be surprised at all if Alex Bertini sent someone after me at a convention. Uh, I'll be point blank tell you that I would not be surprised at all. Anyway, bye guys.